Yeah, positive YouTube, how's it going everybody? Got for you guys today, the possible first upload of today. And if you guys missed my two uploads from yesterday, a link to both of those will be down in the description. So, make sure to go check them out, they come back to this one. And I want to go ahead and apologize if I'm not able to get up two uploads tonight. Our uh, reason being is that Laura actually doesn't work and she's right now out for a walk and I didn't go because I'm way too tired from work. So I was like, well, I'm going to take this opportunity to try and record and hopefully be able to get two battles for you guys for tonight. But as I said, if I'm not able to, then I really, really do apologize. But if I do manage to get a second one, then that should be up in about two or three hours. And if you do enjoy this video, guys, then make sure to hit that like button. I want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody for the amazing support that you, sh that you showed on yesterday's two uploads. So if you do enjoy this, hit the like button. Much like always, guys, the goal is 300 likes. So yeah, you know what to do if you do enjoy this video. Now, before I get into actually talking about my team, for those of you who don't know, uh, currently in Ubers, Gengar's Megastone, the Gengarite, is actually being suspect tested. Yes, a Pokemon in the Bandless tier Ubers is being suspected. Now, for those of you who don't really know about Ubers, you might be wondering why. And I don't want to ramble on about my opinions because I can honestly go on for like two, three, four minutes about it. But I'll leave it down in the description and just kind of sum it up. So let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about the Gengarite being suspect tested in Ubers and possibly even banned from Ubers. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And with that, let's take a look at the team. Obviously, this is Ubers, so this is a team that I got from my good friend Edgar, aka D Black Stardust. His channel link and Twitter link will be down in the description. And it's a very fun team that was based around a Focus Sash lead Rayquaza, which Rayquaza has always been one of my favorite Pokemon, so I'm very happy I'm going to be able to use it. And then I've really been wanting to use Mega Mewtwo Y. So that's also really cool. Then we have Specially Defensive Clef Clef Key. <laughs> uh, we have Gracious, which I'm thinking about changing Earthquake to like Stone Edge. Because as you can see, ho does cause problems to this team. We have Hippowdon, which Hippowdon is actually not that bad to use in Ubers. You should, guys should definitely try it out. And then we have nice Scarf Ogre, which is a very nice revenge killer and hard hitting threat in the Ubers tier. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, guys, so we got a battle here. And this dude has a very scary team. Holy crap. Um, leads. Honestly, uh, because the lead for this team is Rayquaza, I'm going to lead off with that as he ends up leading off with a Palkia. Um, I'm actually just going to go straight for the Draco meter because I lose nothing in doing so as he ends up going for a Draco of his own and hopefully I do not miss which thankfully I don't as I'm going to be able to get rid of one potential threat already which is really great and I'm still actually going to have use for Rayquaza in my opinion later in this game so I think what I'm going to do is actually switch into my Hippowdon just to save it as he does end up going for the shadow sneak as i should be able to take this opportunity just to honestly go for a toxic because i lose nothing in doing so and now i'll be able to get that nice residual damage on the giratina and of course <laughs> he dragon tails me out into my uh rayquaza but because i do have airlock i actually completely forgot about airlock the uh the sandstorm is not going to knock me out so let's see let's see hmm i'm actually gonna switch into my kyogre maybe because i feel that he's gonna want to pull a double switch predicting my hip out on so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch into my kyogre as he actually just shadow sneaks okay he made a more aggressive play unfortunately this does not allow me to abuse the power of water spout now Although, I don't think I lose anything in just going for the Ice Beam. Let's see. Uh, I'm worried about that Arceus, though. That's what I'm, I'm kind of worried about. So, do I want to Surf for I I think I'm just going to Ice Beam. As, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to knock him out. But I do definitely bring him down to the point where Toxic will be able to knock him out. So, it's really great as I'm able to get rid of that. Unfortunately... He, uh, Dragon Tails me onto my Arceus Grass, which can do absolutely nothing to the Ho-Oh. But he actually brings in the Yveltal, and I'm going to switch right into my Clef Key. Because normally Yveltal cannot touch Clef Key outside of Taunt. But honestly, this isn't too big of a video, because I can just definitely go for a Play Rough this turn. Um, cancel actually. Uh, I almost want to double. 
I almost want to. Let's see. Because uh, he can definitely just switch into his ho -Oh this turn. Um... I'm gonna make a risky switch into my Kyogre and... Oh, he brought in Groudon! This is even better! Yes! Yes, this is absolutely perfect because I'm gonna go straight for the Surf. I am modest in the rain. Stabbed. Ooh, nothing is switching in. Nothing on his team is gonna safely switch in. Something is gonna take a huge chunk of damage for sure. So let's see what he wants to do. He's actually gonna switch into his Arceus Steel, which is not a switch in. Not a switch in as I'm going to be able to easily to a KO that. So that's really great, actually. And I've not seen a single Arceus steal this gen, now that I think about it. So he's going to bring back in the Yavelta. I'm going to switch right back into my Klefki because I lose absolutely nothing in doing so. As he ends up going for the Sucker Punch, thinking I would want to stay in. That is not the case as I'm going to be able to fire off a free Toxic this turn. And be able to kind of cripple this Javelta before he's able to taunt me, which is really great. Um, I might just fodder off my Rayquaza. This way, if he does switch into Ho-Oh, I'll be in a good position. So, he does end up predicting my switch very nicely as he goes for the uh, Dark Pulse. Um... Oh, this is not good. Yavelta's a problem to this team now that I look at it. Unfortunately, Arceus allows his Hoa to get a free sub. And if he taunts me with Klefki, that gives him a free sub as well. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe a pivot. Not pivot, but I'm a, I want to bring in Klefki, then switch out as he taunts. I could play rough, but after I'm taunted, he brings in ho -Oh, gets up a free sub, and could possibly ruin my life. Although, I could just whirlwind him out with the Hippowdon now that I think about it. Okay, so yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind. I had to I'll really think about this for a second there, so... Gonna bring in my Klefki, and definitely just gonna go for a play rough. Pretty to him to just wanna go for the safe, a taunt, as I'm able to get off a good, good chunk of damage. So the question is now, <laughs> I want to do it again. I really want to switch out again. Um, hmm. It either comes down to me. I think Kyogre is going to be more handy than Mewtwo because I'm Scarfed and outspeed his whole team. So if anything, I'd rather lose my Mewtwo as opposed to losing my Kyogre. Because with Kyogre, I get a sure win condition as he brings in the Groudon. Um, I think that Fire Blast is actually stronger in the sun. Unfortunately, I miss as, of course, he has the bloody Thunder Wave. Hello? Um, I'm actually... Never mind. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, uh, so I managed to hit the Fire Blast and just look at how much damage that did. Holy crap. And this turn, I'm actually going to go for the taunt. I know this may seem odd, but what I was thinking is that if you wanted to switch into ho -Oh predicting me to go for the uh, Fire Blast, you can take the hit, then set up a substitute, which would be really bad for me. So I'm actually going to go for a double taunt because this does now allow me to switch just right back into my Kyogre and uh, basically get another free kill. So I'm going to go straight for the Surf. At this point, I think I could even go for the Water Spout and get a kill. I'm joking. I'm not serious, guys. So, I'm able to get rid of the uh, Groudon. As he brings back in the Yavelta. Oh, this, this, this is where this gets scary, actually. Um, uh, no, no, gonna, I have to switch right into Klefki. I have to switch into Klefki this turn. Oh, th wow, he crit me. Damn it. Oh, that's actually really, really bad. Okay, okay, so I still have a chance to win this game. What I'm thinking about doing is... Well... Hmm... 
I can fodder off Kyogre. Then this way, he dies off to the Toxic, hopefully. Or I could even just switch right into Hippowdon afterwards. Then double out as he might just go for the Oblivion Wing. So he gets knocked out by Sand and Toxic. So yeah, I'm going to switch it to my Kyogre. As he actually doubles. And this... <laughs> I was not predicting that at all. Wow, he made this so, so much easier for me. He's probably thinking, oh my god, this guy's a prediction master. No. <laughs> he predicted me to play rough. Wow, that was a really bad misplay on his part as... He's going to be able to knock me out with the Sucker Punch, but Toxic will knock him out. And that is going to be the victory in my favor. So, wow. <laughs> that was a crazy ending. That was really a crazy ending. But yeah, guys, this is a team I really don't like Focus Blast. Um, if you want to use this team, I would recommend Aura Sphere. Just because Focus Blast is stronger doesn't mean you should use it over Aura Sphere. But the, the reason I have Focus Blast is because, as I said, this is Edgar's team. Uh, Klefki, Klefki was easily the MVP of this game. Klefki definitely came in handy. And I really should have probably um, changed this moveset on Arceus, but it's whatever. Hippowdon definitely came in handy as well. And so did Kyogre. <laughs> Kyogre definitely came in handy. And yeah, with that being said, guys... If you did enjoy this, then uh, make sure to hit the like button, guys. Much like always, 300 likes is the goal, so make sure to hit it. And as I said, I might possibly, hopefully, actually have a second battle up for you guys later today, depending on how things go. Because from looks of it, I should actually have enough time to do another battle. So, yeah, with that being said, I will hopefully see you guys in about two or three hours. If not, then I promise, promise, promise you that Sunday I will be back to two lives a day. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. I'm pointing out my screen for absolutely no reason. So, yeah.